can start foaming on a white surface, or one can start foaming on a colored surface. It doesn't really matter. The wall should be clean. Um, if you start uh, foaming on a colored surface, it should be clean if you haven't freshly painted it. And um, then you be begin foaming. First of all, you have to have faux glaze, and this I got from um, Home Depot. And it's about $26 a gallon, actually. <laughs> and then you need your paint. We're going to be um, painting um, a blue wall, foaming a blue wall. You also need uh, brushes, and um, large brushes are good, and um, then for certain little small corners you can use smaller brushes. Uh, large brushes simply because um, uh, it gets an area done quicker than a small brush would. And um, if you really um, want to um, apply a lot of faux paint, um, these sponge rollers are wonderful. And uh, one thing about the, um, these brushes is um, I, I like using brushes because there's more control where um, I feel these rollers, you don't have as much control as far as the, uh, um, the, the way the uh, paint flows on the walls, I would say. And, um, when, and the formula is four parts of faux glaze to one part of uh, color. And um, so, I have already mixed a batch here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my paintbrush. And I think I'm going to get maybe a middle size um, a middle size, and this is a five inch paintbrush, and you dab it in. And the easiest way to apply uh, the, the uh, faux color is in a lemniscate um, shape. So it would be this. Right away you can see the breathing of the color and the movement. And you can go over, you can lighten it. Um, every once in a while, you have to look at your work. So, you, you're, you're, you're foaming, you're doing a lemniscate, um, you keep it as soft at the edges as possible, and then you stand back, you look at the whole thing, and you ask yourself, is that the direction that I want to go? So let's stand back, and you say, okay, yeah, that's good, I can continue. Um, if for any reason you feel that certain areas are too dark or you would like it lighter in the center, usually uh, shadows and darknesses kind of creep into edges. And it's always light kind of uh, away from those edges. So if you'd like it lighter there, um, you can use white. You can use another color. You can use another blue that's lighter.